trick. All right, for all you passport bros and passport ladies that are out there, all your passport kings and all you guys that are part of the passport movement, we know that there is a time period in which I need to turn this this, uh, <laughs> this phone down. Yeah. <laughs> and we know that there's a time when it comes to when you're using your passport and now you're a passport bro, but what next? You got your passport, you travel to all these places once or twice or even some of y'all five times, 10 times over the last few years. But the question is, what next? In today's episode, we are going to talk about what is next for you guys that are using your passports. What do you need to do? What steps you need to take in order to take your passport experience to the next level? We got 10 things we're going to talk about. How you doing, Mrs. Spence? I'm doing pretty good, you know, slowly but surely. I'm right. doing pretty, pretty good, you guys. Yeah, you know, slowly but surely, I'm back to YouTube. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, we got we, we were late because we got little issues with the, the microphone. microphone. Everything yeah. was going great, and then things happen. Uh, literally, the last second. Things happen. Yes, sir. How we, you doing? I'm I'm doing better now that the mic is working. <laughs> oh, are you doing better because the mic is working? I'm doing okay. better because I'm next to my baby. That's what oh, I'm doing yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm doing better with. Obviously. OBO. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, you guys. I want to start with a shout out uh, with Victory. Thank you a lot for being here. Shout out to my brother. Boo Man, thank you a lot for coming to the live stream. The African Wolf, thank you a lot. Kings and Dreams, thank you a lot for being here. Stefano, thank you, babe. Altoids. Mm -hmm. No, what is it? Mean? A YouTuber's best friend, Altoids. Okay, let's keep going. Stefano, thank you so much for being here. Hola, mi gente. Make sure you hit the like button on your way. Ranson is here. Thank you a lot. Uh, what's Greg up, in the all? building. <laughs> David is here. Thank you a lot for coming to the live stream. Jay in okay. the building. Thank you a lot. Like a scorpion, what's up? What's up to you? Yeah, thank you guys for starting to come into this live stream this week, this uh, new month, March. I know, right, guys? Yep. And Oh, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. No, March. Uh, every everybody in Colombia is getting excited because March is here. But another thing is excited for Colombians is because we because April is on the way means that April is the um, the month of the Easter, Easter. week. Mm -hmm. So Colombia's got two uh, holidays, Thursday and Friday. So it means that most of the people are gonna be off that week, uh, the Easter week and and another thing a lot of spots are going to be full for the easter week all the church uh oh, you know yeah. colombians yeah. most of the colombians we are catholic so cartagena medellin they're going to take the advantage to have those days off to travel okay so don't be surprised so all you guys that are the, so here's the the question i have for you for those that are traveling during the during the holiday weekend next month uh -huh. is it good to come to colombia during easter weekend or should they stay home because a lot of people you know a lot of colombians want to celebrate that weekend with their family they're not trying to necessarily party party or is no, it we is, respect that a lot we respect that easter week that thursday friday because he's it's honor of jesus of course but in at least in colombia only there are some clubs that they open or bars but we are very conscious like we need to respect we got the whole year to celebrate to drink to party even to have intimacy mm -hmm. so respect those days and the sunday too so yeah probably most of the of the cities the tourist cities are going to be full um and uh but the thing is everything is going to be expensive the tickets the places if you go to cartagena it's going to be packed uh, Santa Marta is going to be packed. All the, the, the beach area in Colombia, they're going to be packed. 
So remember that for Easter weekend, guys. And you guys mm -hmm. that are coming down in April or close to Easter weekend, remember that it's going to be more expensive flights during that week, more expensive hotels, more expensive uh, just no matter where you go for the most part yeah. during the Easter week. The Easter week is in the the week of April 6th and 7th. Those days, Columbus are going to be off because those are two oh, so holidays. Easter is April. Okay, okay, cool. Uh huh. Yeah. All those holidays? Yeah, those holidays. Not this one. Okay. This one is not holiday. Easter Monday. Any holidays in, in, in May? Day. In May. Yeah, we got holiday. We got the first one, the 15th. The 22nd. Oh, my God. We got three holidays this month. They don't never work, man. <laughs> Sorry, you all. Never work. Yeah, so just a little tip because, yeah, if you're going, planning to go to Cartagena, a bunch of people are going to be there. All right. The Easter week. It's like you got more people. You got Big Dave. Yeah, let me continue the shout out uh, uh, before I start with the live stream. What's up, you all? Big Dave is here. Uh, Mr. Da How do you pronounce it? To clean my, uh, <laughs> my schedule to tune in. That's what's up, brother. <laughs> John Kevin said, Looking forward to a great show. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. What's up, Andre and Andrea? What's up to you? Uh, I'm going to be in Pereira and Cali next week. Oh, Super nice. excited to get out uh, of Medellin for a little. You're going to really like that area. Really nice. Wait, what was about the no intimacy on what day? <laughs> <laughs> so what holiday? Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, in, in Colombia, I mean, for at least and always put it in our minds, you know, like respect, respect that Easter week. You know, I mean, dedicate that. Even that, don't listen loud music or or reggaeton music. Just like, just, just like rest, but 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 trying to be subtle. How do you say subtle? So mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, and the intimacy. I mean, no. it's, it's the weekend. It's part in of the, the Catholic culture. country. Yeah, it's part of the culture. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little story here in Cali. It happens like years ago, like like almost, I don't know, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they were having, they were having uh, in in Thursday, St. Thursday or Jueves Santo, uh, they were having a, 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 um, a party in Chango Club in Cali, here in Cali, uh, years ago. And it's, it's a little story. I don't know if it's true or not, but people say, that in that club, Chango, you know, that that's one of the African saints. Mm -hmm. Um, the devil show up. Wow. And burn the whole club. I that heard a, about that story. That is a story. I yeah, don't know if the it's devil true showed or up not. to the club. He was so handsome. Yeah, exactly. So that's why people say respect. Why you why you just doing going to concerts, uh, going to clubs, going to moteles. When you have the whole year to do it, at least yeah. Thursday, a Friday, and Sunday, respect those days. Yeah, it was like an Easter weekend at a black club, and they said the devil showed up, danced on the dance floor, mm -hmm. left, curl up, burned down. Exactly. Yep. That is a little story. So that's why we're like, okay, we we respect that that week. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Andre and Andrea. Shout out to Will. Andre drew the John Travolta. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know how the way I walk. I'm a, I'm a woman's man. No no time to talk. Okay. Uh, Terrell, well, we saw your video on, on the um, Columbia Masterminds. That he's mm -hmm. back to the States. He's ready for the ah, 7.30. <laughs> he's back to the States. Good to see you, be bro and sis. Wow. Okay, Terrell, that's good. Have a safe flight. He way up there. He way up there. Also, guys, before Andrew get go ahead, babe. Let me let you finish out the shout out. Uh, Kenny, I don't know why you are on vacation. Who is vacation? Who? No, we we're, we're not on vacation. We're not on vacation. No. Why do slim? What do you mean? He said, "What do you do in slim? Nothing. Nothing much." Well, hey, Ken, hit me up too. Hit me up later. What does that, that means? Uh, what's going on? How you doing? How things are going? 
Uh, with me or with us? Just in general, just with oh, okay. us. No, everything is doing is doing well. You mm -hmm. know, it's just working in different things, but yeah. Andre got us eating healthier than ever. Ah, oh, yeah. She just started her culinary baking classes and. Ah, uh, yeah, I started. <laughs> tell tell them about the the. Uh, I start pa pastry. How do you say pastry classes? Pastry classes. You know, because I imagine when we have kids doing cookies and, and cupcakes and all those things with the kids. So I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the cool Learn. part. Hey, to tell them about what you cooked today. The, uh, the, the, uh, wa the, uh, I, I, the made, waffles. I made waffles with oatmeal. Oatmeal. And bananas, one egg, just a little bit of milk and a little bit sugar, but just a little bit and a little bit of salt, just a little bit, not too much. And I made waffles. Who would have thought <laughs> that you could make waffles? Dude, these waffles were amazing. Yeah. Waffles yeah. from oatmeal. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I never <laughs> thought of that. Yeah. So I'm loving this new diet that she has us on. So your boy gonna be looking good by the time his birthday comes in October. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for 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 obviously I'm doing more not just for look good, mm -hmm. I think mean for um health. Mm -hmm. 100 percent Okay. I'm going to before I start with the shout out to Jay Clyde. It's Jay. Okay, Lily uh from the Cuba oh, videos. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Good evening, Mrs. Andrea. Thank you so much. Good evening to you too. Kidney in the building. Sly here. Jay Clyde is mm -hmm. in the building. And Kings and Dreams. Okay. Well, we're gonna start officially right now. With All right, guys. Before we get started, guys, we're looking for today if you have not joined our patreon you see is right there we got a lot of information that we're going to be sharing with you guys uh that's on a level of consultation uh by way of our patreon we look for five people just five brothers today or others today to join our patreon i'll okay. cover just five dollars uh, uh sorry babe can you say that i can hear anything or it's just me hold on kings I oh, know. Yeah, that's you, Kings. It's just you. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you. Okay, I fixed it. Okay. 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 And we got from uh James. What happened, James? Five dollar. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you a lot, James Casino, for uh, this is um Patreon. Uh, no, this is just uh, the cash app. The cash app. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you a lot for uh, this donation. Thank you for the cash app, brother. Yeah. But as far as the Patreon is concerned, guys, we're looking for five people today. We're doing great. Our goal is a hundred Patreons, patriots in a hundred days, starting next week, next Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm throughout the week. I'm going to be posting videos and, and information. But starting next Saturday, everything is going to be officially launched for each level, all the groups, all the information. We're going to be setting up the meeting for those that are going to be having the 30 that that's on the level that's going to be having the 30 minute meeting with me. We're going to set up a date for that. And so you'll be able to have a 30 minute uh, free consultation with me. So it's different levels for different things. But if you just want to support the channel and receive the monthly newsletter, you will be able to do that by being one of the five people that signs up for our Patreon today. And we want to let you guys know we appreciate you. And don't be them dudes. Don't be them dudes that be like, well, I'll let the next man sign up, but then I'll sign up. No, we've been here for everybody for the last four years, haven't had Patreon at all. And so we appreciate you guys supporting the channel, the brand, and what we've been doing for you guys over the last five years. It would be in April, almost four and a half now. We're going on, yeah, going on since 2019. So that'd be four, four and a half. Yeah. Yeah, four years. So time is going by, and uh, we just want to continue to give you guys quality information and you guys grow with us with Love Crossing Borders. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. Well, we're going to be giving Patreon a Patreon shout out too. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, Toby, doing this a long time. <laughs> All right. Okay, today's guys. topic. Yeah. Today's topic is this one you are a passport bro what's next from the average to elite yes it's one thing to be the average passport bro that's traveling you're doing your thing you're hanging out you're partying all that stuff good nothing wrong with it enjoy it that's the average passport bro 
but the individuals that want to be among the elite we're going to give you 10 things and i'm letting you know this is serious 10 things that you need to do to take yourself out of just being a passport bro to being passport kings shout out to kings of dreams or uh, in other words among the passport elite we're going to talk about those let's get started mm -hmm. number one elite lifestyle the elite lifestyle itself guys if you're going to be an elite passport bro or passport king you have to start to come to the reality i don't know how many trips you take i don't care how many trips you take to thailand dr colombia brazil you've got to come to a point where you come to the, the mental reality when you get off that plane you are among the top 10 percent of income makers in most continents that you go to top 10 percent in many of the countries that you go to and since you know that you're in the top 10 in other words most restaurants you can afford to go to most major expensive hotels you can afford to go to the best vehicles the best condos the best places the golf courses you can afford to go to in most of these countries because you are in the top 10 percent when you get off the plane as a passport king or among the elite in other words stop spending most of your time with people that are under that that are in the lower 10 percent you come to colombia and you only hang out in the hood you come to colombia you only hang out with, with people that have no money people that have no jobs women that have nothing to offer you when you first mm -hmm. started coming to Colombia, that was good. Mm -hmm. But now you cannot continue to do that, guys. You got to take it to the next level. If correct? you want to escalate, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Want to escalate life is, is that's that's basic, obviously. I just said that's basic. Yeah, of course. Okay, we got some a uh, question for Gabriel. Are all Colombians Catholics? Uh, what if you're not Catholic and don't practice any religion? Is that going to be an issue looking for a woman in Colombia? No, actually, I mean, um, no, all Colombians are Catholic. No, no, that's not true because we got Christians, we got uh, people that practice the African religion, uh, Catholic, of course, but most of the Colombia they are Catholic. Um, if you're not practice any religion i mean it's okay but this is the kicker i mean i would say that 80 80 90 percent of the colombian women at least we're looking forward that you believe in someone and obviously if you believe in god uh we respect the fact that okay i'm not catholic or that's too much going on or i'm not christian because they changed the whole life in i'm not this okay cool but the fact that you're not how to say when you don't believe in god uh, Ateo? Ateo in uh, uh Ate you have atheists yeah that don't believe that there's any god but then you have agnostic uh -huh. which believes that there is a god just don't know what god is what god they know okay. that somebody's out there yeah because in colombia because we we that religion's part is really important for us, but at least that you believe in God. Like, yeah, I believe in God. I believe that God exists, of course, but I'm not practice any religion. So I, I want to make that clear. I know this because they even a lot of marriage that they just separate, separate because he doesn't believe in God. She's believing God and she thought that this is going to be work out. And no, I don't believe in any God. I don't believe in God exists. So that's a problem. Yeah, we, we, in that part we're really spiritual in in that in that sense to make that clear that question good good answer yeah global paper is here shout out to global models and bottles Brazil are die in the building <laughs> make sure you guys click the like button we like you make sure you like us too we got 47 48 people here make sure that we at least get 40 likes in the building allowing other people to come in yeah Shout out to Elvis. <laughs> yeah. Thank you a lot. We got here Elvis. He said to be Susua Medellin in Cartagena. 
are the part are the paradise of ugly, ugly. out of shape dudes that think that that think they can't they think they can't what they think they can't what let us we didn't get the last it's almost like last you didn't part. finish the sentence <laughs> yeah okay i definitely believe in the god of the bible but don't have any denomination yeah i'm not in denial i'm not i'm not i'm not you know i grew up a church of god in christ kojic shout out to kojic you know and then i've, I've gone to baptist churches but now i'm non-denominational kind of like uh me and andrea we both enjoy joe osteen uh joyce oh, myers yeah. so yeah. andrea love joe that's her dude right and so I, i've been watching joe since his dad john osteen yeah and so we kind of really like a motivator yeah i put in the car and everything yep. because for example one of the changes that's one of the things you guys you haven't seen me here okay okay you haven't seen me here too often because i've been in so much changes from the bottom of my heart so i've been out of everything just mm -hmm. once in a while an easter or something but yeah i just started going back to youtube and yeah mm -hmm. everybody yeah knows. andrea shut down all her social media and yeah. everything just to focus on her time mm -hmm. and her spiritual life so now she is we have bible study all the time we we read books motivational books all the time so we we are mm -hmm. very see so when the cameras go off this is who we are we try to we are a very very positive couple yeah we do salute so night guys thank you so much Wormen looks magazine in the building uh russell say today or pastor say the the SF what? San Francisco Bay area. Oh, okay. It's the most unchurched religion wow. in the US. 90% uh, wow. unchurched and most of the 3% are Catholic. What's that? Wow. Explain me, please. Unchurched means people that really don't go to church on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. People that either don't have any form of religion or just basically just you know, they believe in a God, but they don't practice with others. Unchurched. 90, 97% in the Bay. I mean, you know, guys, and, and I think I, I, I could see that in this. the Bay, though. Not uh, 97, but. I think I never told you this, uh, but I watch a documentary about depression in Germany. And mm -hmm. the guys, the people that have the medication, they say, doctors give us the medication to feel better, to. You know, not thinking about any nothing negative, but I would love that they give us some um uh, how do you say Bea? spiritual guidance. No, um like a, um no recommendation but a gift or mm -hmm. something because we need to work out or not work out in a spirit in, in, in our spiritual life, in emotion life. They just give it the medication and that's it. And what else about my spiritual life? So I mean, for me, it's really important that part, the spiritual mm -hmm. part, and and because help you a lot when you got mental issues or disorders and all of or any type of sickness. Okay, he said, get a real woman that they can't. Oh, they uh, can't get, get a, a real, real woman. woman. Oh, that's a good point. Uh -huh. That's a good point, and and that that's one of the that's one of the moves from being an average passport user as a male to an elite. You know how when you when you get on the plane there are the the regular seats that are in the back then you have the premium seats then you have business class then you have first class that's the same way we need to start treating our passport and our passport lives you can't spend 30 years in the back area of the plane and expect your life to progress in these other countries you in other words you zoom into thailand with richie and then in five years you're doing the same thing you did on day one so you haven't met anybody. Nothing has progressed to take you to the premium level of your experience than business class and first class. That's what we're talking about in this uh, particular episode. It's time for many of us to go from just being average passport dudes to among the elite. I used to watch Joel for eight hours, very uh, motivate, mm -hmm. whatever. Very motivating. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, mo motivational okay even the real uh even red pine on his books mm -hmm. and good stuff i would say i'm more on 
agnostic. Okay, not too. Which means I believe that there's a God out there. I just don't know what God, which God, or that's what it is. Agnostics uh, believe okay. that there is someone running the universe, right? Someone's out there to help us, but don't necessarily have a title on it. But we're atheists, don't believe that there's anybody out there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I, I understand. Yeah, I, 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 I got a lot of videos of him because they, his words have, you know, I don't know. I like his words. And then oh, Andrea crazy. listens to the, the the Spanish pastor at Joe's church. So there's oh, yeah, a, there's the a translation. There's a, yeah. Exactly. Because there are several words of the Bible that I can understand what they say or I can't pronounce. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's right, Kings. It's that first class mindset. That's right. Got to You got to go from being a, you know, just have your regular seat in the back to having that first class mindset. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it's no just shout out to my man E and B in the building. Uh, Blair's here. All right, shout out to Blade Runner. Shout out to you, brother. Okay, let's continue. All right. Number two, no bank number. accounts. Bank accounts. One of the next things of you being an elite passport holder is this: when you go to these countries on a regular basis, bruh, it's about time you open up a bank account. And the reason why it's time for you to open up a bank account is some of those money exchange fees, they add up if, you, if you're traveling back and forth, if you plan on, or if you plan on living in that country. So one of the things, and I'll tell you two reasons for bank accounts. I was talking to a brother doing a consultation today. First reason is sometimes you just want to have somewhere to funnel your money uh, in, from the States to that particular country like you say you know what i got a bank account here in thailand so i can send a couple thousand so i at least know i got two thousand or one thousand or five hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars waiting for me when i get to thailand i don't have to worry about anything because i have money already in my thailand bank account i got my thailand debit card and i'm building up i'm building up credit in thailand because they're going to eventually give me a i mean debit card but they're going to eventually give you a credit card it's those little things. That's the number one thing where you want to open up bank account in Colombia. The one of the first things that I remember Taylor made dreams taught Russ. Shout out to Russ. One of the first things that he taught on his first uh Taylor made dreams channel. The one that you guys been seeing for the last three years, that's his second channel. The first channel, one of the first things that he talked about was opening up a bank account in Dominican Republic. And he was helping dudes open up bank accounts because he realized the importance notice this was years before he officially moved there he was still going back and forth from atlanta but he didn't want guys to know how important opening up a bank account was the next level of going from just being the average passport bro to an elite passport holder is opening up a bank account the second reason that it's important to open up a bank account in another country you start to feel like, hey, this might be my home because I got a bank account. I remember when well, how, how I felt and how me and excited Andre and I were when we opened up my bank account. We were like two kids due to the fact that we opened up my bank account and it felt like I was a part of Colombia. Yeah, no, it, it, actually you are because you got the, no, you, you haven't paid or declared taxes enough, mm -hmm. but you got your economy activity in Colombia. Mm -hmm. You have to have an economic activity made me and, feel more at home. And too. the only way that you can have that economy activity, your registration, like you do, you, you work in Colombia, is through having a, uh, um, a ID, mm -hmm. foreigner ID. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, yeah. it's a whole process that people don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's there to take advantage of it, and there are banks you can open up in most countries. Just use your passport mm -hmm. while you're visiting. Exactly. Yes, sir. Okay, let me go to the. Thank you so much, Black Scorpion, for your donation. Scorpion, Scorpio. It's, I'm a Scorpion. Same, same thing. I don't know why the or or sign is is really because that's why people ask me, "Are you a Scorpion?" I say, "Yeah." No wonder why, because Scorpions always when something's going on with me, I'm so hard with me. You you notice that? They say like they, they that's always true. have. They, uh the attacking on how do you say self-attack yeah, the stinger exactly. sting themselves that's <laughs> true andrea is very hard even yeah, in business and, and whatever she does definitely. she's definitely a perfectionist 
Yeah, and I try to break that because that's yes, not healthy. Is. Um, I'm definitely time uh, for a back account. Mm -hmm. I would be getting with you, Coach Dre. Cool, cool. Here, our banks accounts in Colombia insurance. Insure, yeah. For example, banks are uh, here uh, are covered by the FDIC. FDIC. Does Federal Colombia have an uh, include uh, insurance? In other words, if anything happens to your bank account, does the federal government protect your, make sure your monies will be back in your account? Yeah. Of you course. know, they have, because in, in the United yeah. States, it's like if, if somebody goes in and steal your money uh, through. We need to prove hacking. that, of course. Of course, it's the same thing. The state oh, got yeah. to prove it, but yeah. This is going to take a little while, but. Just like the states, it'll take a little while too. <laughs> uh do you have any video on open how to open a bank account in colombia do we no you no. know i mean i would love to do that video but i mean in 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 the banks you can record no we don't have to record in the banks but we can still talk about the step-by-step -step process yeah but one of the things Bay, is i mean that's one of the part that i would love to have one of your friends because they open a bank account with different banks uh, they don't have any Colombia ID or visa, but you got visa, you got an ID, so your process is 100% different. Like like Ace, Ace Live, he's he's opened up his bank account using his uh exactly. his his uh, uh passport. his passport. Jason, yeah, Jason opened up his bank account a few years back using his passport. Exactly, but you are different. You're using a Colombia yeah, yeah uh, my Colombia uh, mm -hmm. Colombia uh, bank so yeah it's, it's it's really different in the exactly. bank that you would use if you are just to let you guys know i think Citibank is still here but the bank that you it's that i'm mm -hmm. is there is there city bank is not here anymore oh, it's it's not? Bank. oh wow it's Bank and colpatria too and so. the other one that i always recommend bbva uh, because the, they, they, do, are... they open up foreign accounts now mm -hmm. remember this guys this is very important BBVA in the States is no longer connected to BBVA International. Two years ago, BBVA in the States sold those subsidiary branches to PNC. So when you see BBVA, you think, well, I can go online and open it up. If you go online in the States and open up a BBVA bank account, technically, you open up a PNC account. And you can't use it on an international scale. You have to come to Colombia or another country to open it up with BBVA on an international scale. And now you can use it on the regular. But if you try to open one up in the United States, like online or something, it's not connected to the rest of the world because PNC owns BBVA in the United States. But it's really not a hard process to open up a bank account. It really isn't. Especially if you've retired or you got a pension or you got money coming in or you work online, you got or whatever it may be. Just come in and, and the process they'll walk you through. And Andrea also, she does that as well to assist you guys with open. She helps everybody. Assist uh, uh you guys with opening up bank accounts, of course, for a small fee, but it is not much. But she just wants to make sure that you guys get uh proper assistance and she'll be right there next to you while you open up your bank account. And you will walk out with your debit card, right? Like I did. Yeah, the debit card, and then having your debit card, you have your credit card, and then you start to build. build you build credit, credit here, like I am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me go to a second. Uh, Shout out to Tobias. Uh -huh, Scott Evan. Yeah, we have a Scott Evan here. Mm -hmm. Yep. The best is supporting the channel. Thank you a lot for your donation. Shout out. Make you guys make sure you guys subscribe to Tobias the Traveler. Great YouTuber. Great, great content, man. Really good content, especially his travels in Europe. So if you brothers are interested in seeing Europe, but you haven't seen too many too much content regarding Europe coming from brothers, that's the channel you want to definitely see then. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you want get that that insight from him in regards to living and exploring europe 
Black Hammond, he said, I will be in Cali the next week. They closed my restaurant, my, my favorite restaurant, uh, so food, mom and dad. What restaurant in Cali you recommend with a black lady in the in the kitchen? <laughs> Cooking. Oh, we got a couple of them, bro. We got a couple really good ones. We're going to start to find more restaurants, you know, go to different restaurants because then you can go with your boy, you know, see different flavors, different size of the city or, yeah. Like we got a black soul food, uh, uh, Colombian version of soul food, vegetarian or vegan restaurant, literally around the corner. And we ah, eat there at delicious. least twice a week. Oh, Their food, is the, them sisters and that brother in there, they could cook, cook. And I'm talking about, it's we're vegan. talking about, yeah, and you would swear that this was meat meat, like it's regular vegan, meat. vegan restaurant. And it's vegan restaurant, and they throw down. And so we we're going to introduce you guys to that. And that's what I'm talking about with our Patreon. A lot of that information is going to be in the Patreon for you guys to take advantage of. And we're going to have videos because we're talking about doing those small, short videos for some of the restaurants that we go to. And so you guys will be able to see that. Uh, but do me a favor anybody that's interested in some of the restaurants make sure you email me at a spence just like the cash app a spence 2011 at gmail because i'll be able to give you at least those restaurant information uh for you we got 61 in the building make sure 61 click that like button and but yeah because there's some really good restaurants i mean really good and you know we got some favorites that we like to take people to anyway and you better believe it's some sisters back there in that kitchen throw down and plus what i like about it before we go, we go any further you get so much food i remember one time we ate it was like six of us five or six andrea a couple other people we were all gathered around all this food drinking and just eating good getting stuff like mr and mrs claus and for all those people that were eating as much as we wanted 80 dollars 80 dollars for all of us to just gorge yeah okay you guys uh thank you mike anthony for your donation kiss and dreams too thank you a lot for that donation shout out to kings of dream hey, DJ Dean, say hello andre and andre how you're doing uh well today thank you a lot yeah we're doing pretty good it's slowly but surely oh, yeah, we're doing, doing pretty good. good yeah okay the next one number three languages languages so remember guys tonight's topic is your passport dude you've been using your passport for a while but okay, what's next? What's, what, what you can only you can only party for so long. Now you're interested in that country. What's next? How do you go from just being average passport dude to the elite? What's the next one, Dave? Once again, languages. 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 Boop. Languages. Boop. That's me. I say languages. I do not feel like I'm 100 of any country, like I should be, including Colombia, until I finally get this Spanish down. But I, I'm doing so much throughout the day, and I have been so lazy for four or five years. Andrea is okay, babe. Her dad is uh, like, okay, Andre. Okay, Andre, you know that next year you need to apply for your citizen and you need to sign the you sign up. Uh sing the, the national, national anthem, anthem and I gotta do the in national Espanol. anthem. So all this, and I want to do my volunteer work. And I want to network with guys. I don't want to just play golf when you or, or bowl when you guys come to town. I want to meet some guys down here that golf and have some fun with them. Exactly. So to go from being average passport user to the elite, got to learn the languages, guy. Even, even Richie Mack is toying around and learning Thai while he's there, even though Thailand does speak a lot of English. So at the end of the day, guys, we definitely need that language it's a must if you're going to continue to go to these countries and remember okay. also and i remember ace telling me about this ace live he felt comfortable to finally go to ecuador to uh, argentina mm -hmm. antarctica mm -hmm. and other locations once he got his spanish down pack during the pandemic he said i didn't feel as safe he said, I felt cool. He said, but I didn't feel as safe. And remember, once Ace got his Spanish down pat, we all saw Ace go from 88,000 subscribers to over, to almost, he's on his way to 500,000, half a million subscribers 
due to the fact that he learned Spanish. And so now he communicates with not only English speaking audience, but the Spanish speaking audience. Yeah. So my turn. Sí. Obvio. 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 <laughs> he wants a Columbia City sign. <laughs> sing the national anthem. Okay, yeah. You need sing to the national Bold for you mad because I know it. Yeah, you need to vote for the next president. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be around to vote for the next presidency. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's when you prove that you are. Columbia citizen or any any citizen in, in around the world when you can vote. And Andrew was telling me during the last election how many people were in there <sighs> voting for the first happy. time and so happy. So That's happy. Be me. Like they were recording happy because that means that you 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 are national uh citizen. Uh, citizen. Yeah. And you you take advantage of your citizenship. Yeah. Okay, uh and say, Dre, you need to start with, oh my bad, everyday combos. Conversations, yeah. Uh, uh, combos. And, I, and I got the, uh, I got the uh, Pinterest, mm -hmm. not Pinterest, but uh, the Pimsleur. I got the Pimsleur. My man, my friend of mine sent it to me before he passed on, sadly, uh, of COVID. But he just so happened to send me the Pimsleur. Of what helped him learn Portuguese in Brazil. Mm -hmm. my, my my good friend Yusuf Watif, who passed on to Brazil, he said, Here, man, I'm gonna send you the Spanish version of Pimsler. Take advantage of it. And I'm gonna start taking advantage of my my uh my instructor again. Cause I did learn a lot with Domain. Let's learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's going Andre and Andre? Uh have you noticed the ice cream shop is getting famous with so new work and selling the ice cream? Who look like male bodybuilders? Is this the show more? I don't know why ice cream show you're talking about. What's I don't the know. name? Is it here in Colombia? No idea. Although I'm in Canada, I take Shout Spanish classes when I go to a Spanish restaurants or a stores. I ask them to to speak in Spanish. Yeah, I got a friend like that in the States, and he said that's how his Spanish is getting better. He purposely, if he goes to a restaurant that he knows that's a Spanish-speaking restaurant, he'll make sure that they don't speak to him in English, but they speak to him in Spanish. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Businesses or career? Yes. If you want to be a part of the elite passport holders, and you're trying to get out of the trend of just what every ass. What, what every average passport guy is doing, one of the things that you're going to have to do is start focusing on what you're going to do online if you want to move to these new countries. Whether you want to own a business online or whether you want to be part of a job like some of you IT guys and some of you cybersecurity guys getting your certifications and things like that. Excellent moves. Excellent, excellent moves because that's taking you out of the tier of just being an average dude with a passport but you're a dude that's building a career or a job or a future online or you're building a business that's online or brand it's time for us to take it to another level when it comes to being uh passport uh holders not just for the travel part but if some of you want to live in these countries you got to start saying okay what can i do online to take my life to a position where I can live in any country I want to. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that Andre and I do. We focus on, we got our whiteboard right here. And we, we check mark, wipe off and all the things that, we got a list for when you guys come to town, we got everybody's name down. Whenever you guys come to town, you say, Andre, I'll be in town. We put your name around the list so we'll know who's in town, who's not in town, when they're gonna be coming, because we wanna make sure that we have everything that's needed. We also have a business side with goals, and we have parts with consultations. We have day, weekly uh, video goals. Why is that? Because we're building and continue to build an online brand and also buying uh, other companies that are outside of YouTube. So that's what some of our goals are. So it is with you. You guys got to find out what goal 
or what you can do online to be able to get out the United States as long as you want to. It doesn't have to be permanently, but if you say, I want to do six months in, six months out, maybe you want to take some type of courses or learn some type of skill that you can work online while you're in the Dominican Republic or wherever. Yeah, we'll say, boo. Thank we'll you, baby. Say. <laughs> Mohammed Ali, he say the Cali shop with ice cream that look like toys. You... I know it's. <laughs> you talking about? I got a video. Uh, we sin, haven't posted it yet. Sinvergüenza, severa sinvergüenza. We got actually we got one in the make waffles here around the corner. Oh, do it. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I didn't know that. Two, two, one here close to our house, mm -hmm. and another one in South in the dog park. And yeah, it has been packed. I don't know why it has been. Babe, they're doing lines and lines to go to that. That that's a what? Yeah, they got an ice cream, but they got waffles too. And actually, I I want to waffles one of those for the men. Waffles, but it's too expensive. Ice cream for the ladies. <laughs> it's too expensive to get the waffle uh, machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really expensive because they're a, a huge waffle machine for mm -hmm. those shapes, of course. But yeah, um, <laughs> how how I discovered it, me and Ace walking down the street doing a live stream, and we see these ladies in this long line, and we're like, okay, that's a, okay. We walk past it because like, okay, it's an ice cream shop. We keep going, but then we come, we just want to be walking back, and we look, and the ladies told us why everybody was standing in line to go and because so yeah these ice cream they even have these ice cream shops in the uk mm, really that so these are adult let's put like two if for some of you guys don't know what, what we're talking about these are adult shaped if you understand what i'm saying for the men adult shaped waffles and for the ladies adult shaped ice cream cones and ice cream and uh and the dudes flirt the dudes that are making that is so they be like i don't like it they be like lick it i know i <laughs> feel it. like no no and you no. as a dude you be sitting up there like so you're gonna tell my woman to lick it right in front of no, me like no, that no, no, so no. you gotta be cool so if you go this to the right i no, didn't like it really you know I, I didn't like it but you gotta kind of like be cool because if you're gonna go in the ice cream shop it's a part of that experience so while he was making, he said, lick my ice cream. Lick it, <laughs> lick it while it's dripping. <laughs> and you look like, dude, you really gonna get killed over that counter, bro. <laughs> but uh, but it's all in fun. It's all in fun. It's really nice, really nice ice creams. As okay. far as like what they do, as far as the, the mm -hmm. brand. And say, practice R I was laughing. R con R means R with R, cigarettes uh-huh so yeah when we were it's, it, when we start to speak when we were in kindergarten here in colombia they say r con r cigarro <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was funny uh i got a good peruvian restaurant man so in mar in i don't know what, where is this we got one down the street a Peru, yeah, mm -hmm. but we went. You remember Mar Peruano in Alameda? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah, mm -hmm. last year we went. Mm -hmm. Delicious, mm -hmm. Oof. one of the best um, Peruvian restaurants in Cali. My god, delicious! It was very romantic, too. Yeah, because we we, we were celebrating what was, I think it was Valentine's, Valentine's Day, last Day year. maybe. Yeah, yeah, uh, the one random guy, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, that video. <laughs> Actually, they got the last video they sent to the group. Oh, my grandma, I mm -hmm. do take his auntie, but she's an old lady. And the dude put the the, the waffle, you know, in the this part here. Oh, my God. And she, I would like, oh, my to God. To the grandma? To the grandma. And she's uh, the grandma. Uh, yeah. Grandma ain't always been grandma. <laughs> That's how she became grandma. <laughs> I do seven months in the U.S., five months in Colombia. Um, I, I am a heavy haul truck driver, and his, any this line of work kind of sin. How do you pronounce this one? 
He said kind of seasonal, meaning that that during certain times oh, of the okay. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is perfect for traveling? You know, one thing I've seen here, guys, for you truck drivers that you may have seen in Colombia that I've never seen in the United States. I've never seen the United States one truck pulling five hauls. In Colombia, it's nothing to see one truck, the front part, and it's like four or five, like a train. It, it's just one truck pulling one five hauls at the same time. You're like, whoa. Okay, let me. Oh, that's that's Coach Connection mm -hmm. in the building. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Yeah, the grandma. That's when I'm going over there to buy Astro or something. They start to I say, no, dude, do not start to playing games with me. I don't like that. I feel really uncomfortable. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The next one. Yeah, I see me curl my mouth up like yeah. <laughs> Lick it. I was like, lick what, bro? What, what, what you want my wife to lick? I was like, man, I was, I was, I was you know, I was like a little bit of perturbed, but I knew it was part of the experience in the ice cream it shop. It was part of his job, of course. I knew, I knew it was, and he, he wasn't being disrespectful at all. He, he really wasn't. Shout out to J, uh, JVC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, thank you so much for your donation. Can you say, is there, a, a, is there, okay, isn't there a, a legal limit on holes in the States? That could be it. Because I've never seen, I've never seen double haul in the States. I've never seen, I've only seen a truck that has one haul, one giant, whether it be an 18 wheeler, whether it be an in city truck, just one haul. But in Colombia, it's nothing to ride by the freeway and it's just drive the truck. Of course, it's, they're driving slower because they have a haul of just like a train. It looks just like a train. Ah, uh, uh, we call that the nanny. What do you call it the nanny? La niñera. Ah. That, that's the type of truck. Ah. We call it the nanny. La niñera. Wow. Remember, guys, today, as well as in the next couple of weeks, we, our goal is 100 patrons in 100 days. We're looking for five people. We've had 70 people in here today. We're looking for at least five people to join our Patreon today, and we appreciate you. There's a lot that you're going to get from uh, the Patreon, including a lot of things that you guys have been asking about. Okay, the next one, you guys. Relocation or re-relocation? Yes, one of the tools or one of the things that's going to make you go from being just a regular passport dude traveling back and forth that's cool but having the ability to say okay now like like my man victory and other people i'm ready to relocate and or just like my uncle jeffrey shout out to ghostface if he, if he comes tonight he wants to relocate but here's the kicker since you are among the passport elite you have the ability to relocate, relocate. I'll give you a perfect story. Uh, a guy came down here, he moved to Bogota during the pandemic. I mean, a bed in Kia during the pandemic. Loved it, had a great time, started his online business in bed in Kia. He was teaching Spanish, I mean, I'm sorry, he was teaching English to elite business owners in Colombia. They didn't know how to negotiate in English. So he was teaching them. His business was not only just to teach them English, but teach them English so they have the ability to negotiate when it comes to other businesses. And so his business is growing. He had a great time. He relocated. Now he wanted to re-relocate, meaning move to another country. So he's been living in Brazil for like the last year and a half, and he's been loving it. My point is, when you become among the elite of passport holders, Yes, you can relocate, but you also realize, just like with Andre and I going to Europe, you can re-relocate. This will, once we go to Europe, this will be my next country that I'll be living in, instead of always. I know, right? <laughs> instead, instead of just thinking about one country that you can live in, you can think about more than one. I'm more excited to visit Europe than the U.S. I, I, I'm really are excited you? because Europe got so much history so much museum so much if it was impacting for me to see cuba 
in in the historical area i can't even imagine a europe yeah wow yeah that's true yeah seriously okay let me go to uh the comment section thank you victory for your donation thank you Thanks, a victory. lot we appreciate that brother man i appreciate you man much love i was gonna call victory today i, I got caught up with something i was gonna call victory to check on you see how things are going just mm -hmm. just to so sometimes we all as passport brothers we call each other just to check in just to check in yeah yeah <laughs> like i'll call ace just to check in i call victory just richie mac just to check in mm -hmm. i'll text austin just to check in mm -hmm. okay cliff say do you need any permanent address in colombia to open a bank account no actually no but you can use a friend address and a lot of guys that have opened up their their bank accounts that's a good question Cleve. they use their airbnb address why won't they get mail no yeah. you're they're going to you i'm sorry go ahead baby no right now everything is going to your um app app and email or if you for example i want a debit card or credit card you got the option with them or they send you to your address or you pick the the, the card, the card in the bank so so with your yeah. debit card just to break down what andre said when i first got mine i walked out the, the bank with my debit card in hand ace walked out with his debit card every other guy i know walked right out with from using their passport walked right out the bank with debit card in hand so you don't have to worry about anything being mailed to you now when you're looking to get like andre said if your bank offers you a credit card like a few months later and you decide to get a credit card they'll ask you do you want us to mail it to you or do you want to pick it up and so you have that option of being mailed to and pick it up remember colombia just like most countries in the world i'm about to bust your head open colombia just like most countries in the world don't have mailboxes they don't have mailboxes here in colombia well how do i get mail like Andre said, most mail is either email or it's either by way of the apps. And when you do get mail, like Amazon packages, there's usually somebody to get your package for you, like the security guy down the street, if, if you're not home, or you'll get a phone call. Hey, uh, guys, we're, we're at your front door. What do you want us to do with this package? Do you want us to bring it back tomorrow? Or do you want us to give it to the security guy down the street? Or what do you want us to do with it? I have never not got I, this came from Amazon. All my hats and everything else came. These microphones and all this other equipment that you see for the studio all came through Amazon. Never got Amazon stolen like in the States. Y'all always get stuff stolen. I've gotten plenty of Amazon boxes stolen in the States. And uh, so that's one thing you don't have to worry about, even in a country that does not have to have mailboxes. Mm -hmm. no here when they don't find you they they res uh reschedule the other how do you say they reschedule delivery uh the delivery again mm -hmm. okay you guys the next one the next one um yeah the next one healthcare and insurance yes another part now everything that we're describing guys this is what the elite passport holder should be doing if you've taken four or five trips to thailand you take taken four or five trips to your favorite part of africa you you take your favorite to part of central america or south america by now you should be focusing on a bank account set up you should be focusing on being around people that are not broke uh, remember we said the top 10 percent when you land you should start hanging around with people that that can help you out in that country you should start learning the language you should start focusing on uh what was the last one you just said babe let me see if i got a comment here uh insurance Don't you should insurance. start focusing on your insurance when it comes to two forms health and life insurance in another country one of the things that we have that we're going to be putting in the patreon and also that i've been using during consultation is international uh life insurance for people like us that are nomads meaning that we're not from that country but we want or need life or health insurance i have the whole list of the top 21 of the top 10 of, of 2023 
insurance list you click on it and they break down that's what i love about it it breaks down what each one uh represents mm -hmm. so it tells you the cost it tells you how much it covers it shows you everything on this list you just click and you just just apply for it whichever one applies to you so i have that that information that's a part of the patreon also guys when it comes to your health insurance your health insurance policy you want to make sure if it is international some guys you don't know that your blue cross blue shield is it can be used internationally you just never thought about it mm -hmm. but double check on your health insurance that you have at home if you don't have health insurance at home remember like i just said there are international travel and digital nomad life insurance and health insurance policies that are available and we have that information for you guys but yeah. it's time for you to get that if you're going to travel a lot yeah it's really it's really it's, it's really helpful you guys and another thing that i don't know if i'm a comment or mentioned i think i mentioned this before that i made a comment of an easter egg reel about colombia insurance and i said uh the colombia insurance one of the the, the health care is one of the best on top uh, of the united states mm -hmm. insurance most of the people or let's say half and half they were supporting my comment all the ones that say that why would just back to Col to your colombia <laughs> why you just stay in colombia why you just back to your home country so it was it was it was really funny and a lot of people say that is true i mean when i'm back to colombia people that live in the u.s i'm back to colombia i get all my exams and everything done because in the u.s is really expensive um in another comment that i received just today and the deal say he said believe you me i live in netherlands and i pay more than i do they make the video in the u.s uh in europe so i pay more in europe and the medical or the healthcare is uh horrible so um most of the people go to spain germany or other other countries in europe to get a better attention i didn't know about that wow this yeah. guy say he lives in the netherlands in netherlands pays more mm -hmm. but it's trash uh service that's one of the things that andre and i we focus when it comes to relocate to in another country because here we are we're doing pretty good i mean all healthcare is really really good and instead you guys if you want to check up or something they got in Banaco Hospital here in Cali. I'm talking about Cali um, hospitals, mm -hmm. right? I don't know Medellin, I don't know Bogota. I don't, they got different ones, of course. But here, you pay for for uh, check your heart or blood test or uh, your vision. You pay extra or go to here labs. There we got a lot of labs close to our home that you you get your cholesterol, uh, your sugar, and all of that. You pay, of course, and, and you you don't need any prescription or something mm -hmm. so it's really cool to and it's really i mean for example you guys to check your cholesterol and your sugar levels cost around forty thousand pesos which is let me say like 10 bucks 12 bucks yeah forty thousand let's pull that yeah like 10 bucks just for those just to check your cholesterol and your sugar and that's without insurance to see if you got pre-diabetes just coming down that. yeah if you just coming down here and you want to get checked out that's ten dollars to get yourself checked out with no insurance and if you need any type of medication you can get your prescription and go get your prescription taken care of and for example if you want for example the heart uh the we call it electrocardiogram mm -hmm. and the heart a check it costs here in colombia around 35 36 dollars in Imbanaco that one of the best hospitals with in no the insurance city. with no insurance you just pay for and and you get your exam I'm shaking my head at these prices and I live here I remember when Andre was like the co-pay for our insurance was 84 cents I was like what like we go every time we go to the doctor for me oh yeah we got <laughs> we got yeah this this month this year is yeah, we pull, we pay how to say ninety three cents. Ninety three cents every time that we go. Every time I go to the doctor, get something checked on. 
So we always at the doctor. She's always got your boy. With, uh, they know me. They already know me. I need to get another appointment to Dre, another appointment for me. I mean, because there's people like they can have those. How do you say those when you got veins here yeah, and everything? The blue veins, like exactly. the veins. Like exactly. And they're just fine. Me? I will be on the doctor say, hey, I got this. I got that. I need to. I will already check everything because I'm like. She is checking every no seriously. <laughs> she like that with me. Hey babe, I set an appointment for you. We were having a vacation plan, and Andre would be like, Well, we gotta move the vacation. Why? Because I've set your appointment for blah 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 blah. Oh, blah. you got the control of everything. Yeah, we say, okay, let, let, let's wait until we got this appointment, and then we see what's going on next. And then yeah, because for me, that's important. That's yeah. really important. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's plus it's inexpensive. Like I mentioned before, guys, a guy came down here that I met at a coffee shop and he he uh, had cancer and he came down for cancer surgery, came down here to Cali. He said my copay in the States for my particular surgery would have been twelve thousand dollars. He said, and I came down here to Cali, Colombia, got excellent service. They took care of me great after my surgery and I only paid out of my pocket twelve hundred dollars for cancer surgery. Twelve hundred dollars. Some of us have blown $1,200 hanging out for the weekend in Miami. Yeah, Stefano, thank you so much for your donation. Insurance should be uh, one of the first things you get. Absolutely. I remember when Ace, his within Ace Live, once again, Ace going back when he first started his channel way back in the day, 2017, 18, and Ace was playing basketball, smashed his ankle, and didn't have any type of insurance and was limping around. If you watch some of his original videos, was limping around for about a good four or five months. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a question here. Is there is there a popular herbal store in Cali? I'm still away from men may medicine. Like yeah. herbal store like, nature? Nothing, like when you when you get your any type of natural medicine. Oh, oh plenty of them obviously in the mall we got artemisa uh, nature store you can see them you say natural yeah they say all those type of things all over and guys seriously i mean if you are here in colombia you plan to leave here or south america or mexico take the advantage that we have really good fruits and vegetables that we don't need uh, process and process like take the advantage of that you guys seriously because now that i've been more focusing on diet and see how is the things in the u.s how they made up how the all the things is is mm, the food part and everything and you are here take the advantage to eat good here i yes. mean eat good um better diet yeah i'm not saying that go to eat tacos and which is delicious but but I mean, tell you advantage that we got everything fresh. Yeah, don't be on, just be going to Papa John's down the street or Domino's Pizza, which is cool, uh, or Kentucky Fried Chicken. Some of you dudes go to other countries just to eat American food, and we do not understand that. You'll yeah. be aligned for KFC and McDonald's, and you're in China. or and, and I can see if you're doing it one time to experiment, but some of you guys will go to a country and eat Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC the whole time while you're there and it's like oh, we were to santo domingo remember mm -hmm. it was all american american food everywhere mm -hmm. wow and yep. i say babe let's go to store i want to see a real store here in santo domingo they eat a lot of processed food too they do they do that blow my mind for real really for real okay you want to go in the comments yeah just you here this one Colombia herbal stores are everywhere you just need to go to supermarket which fresh produce produce and usually they go they got something yeah mm -hmm. that's true yeah they got a lot of things here for your food they explain to you i go to artemisa that is a uh, everywhere in cali and chipichape we got artemisa too so yeah and in and, and chipichape actually they have like like two or three uh, herbal stores or natural stores And they also got like health food. Like we got Whole Foods in the States. They've got stores down here like that that sell actual regular healthy bread, healthy cereal. They've got healthy ketchup. 
like Heinz makes a it's kind of funny there's a regular ketchup that Heinz make and then there's a super healthy version that you don't see in your regular grocery store you have to go to a certain health food store to actually see but it's the same company yeah seriously no people are more in the brands now they are more focused on the eating part because they say okay now that that people is now the word it is right now mm -hmm. is like you 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 notice when you go to a different store or in colombia in general you see that we don't drink too much cold or just for the moment just for uh the day that, that they're going with the kids but just in our diet colombians we're not into those things i mean i don't know if I yeah. explain explain me better but yeah um he said i'm guilty of eating american food <laughs> here in colombia but once a week oh, not too bad Colombia and Brazil be into those herbal stuff. They even got those all natural soaps, soaps, soaps shampoos, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. What did King say up there? What is it, uh, What? Did... Look, he said the KFC in Colombia is amazing. I never tried it. You know, I haven't. I never tried. Only I tried the Domino's I know, pizza I here. The Domino's is good. Muy bueno. It will amaze you that Domino's pizza is that good Muy because rica. it's so healthy. Thank you a lot, a lot, Alexis. Alexis, shout out to Alexis in the building. Always here supporting. Colombia lacking in seafood. No. Lacking? What do you mean lacking? Lacking doesn't have doesn't have enough. No. Colombia no. got all type of seafood. Got yeah, we got like maybe it depends on the region the region it depends on where he is because here we are we are off the ocean the, the yeah. atlantic ocean i mean the pacific ocean mm -hmm. so we get all type of fish all type of seafood yeah here in cali we, so we do actually and and more and more medellin medellin is close to choco you know True. the all the pacific region so yeah, Medellin is close. It's funny. Medellin is here, Antioquia is here, Chocó is here, mm -hmm. and Cartagena, Bolívar is here. So Medellin is close too. The Cartagena, Atlantic coast mm -hmm. and the Pacific coast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the part that gives me about Medellin. You would think because you got the brothers and sisters in Cartagena right here. Mm -hmm. You got Choco right here. You would think more recipes, black people cooking, would be in Medellin. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's no. not. You, no, Medellin, uh, you know, the paisa, paisa, paisa people from the town, from outside of Medellin, they love to eat pork. They love uh, the pork. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm Filipino. Trust me, Colombia's lacking in the Eje Cafetero. Ah, okay. I see where you're coming from. El Eje Cafetero. Santa Marta, Cartagena has better. Okay, I got you. This one. Mm. The dominoes hit different in Colombia. Oh yeah, for real, for real. Really That's nice. Far, far. Uh huh. I can eat dominoes in the states no more. <laughs> <laughs> right. They even got stuff uh, crust. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I, I can imagine it being different in the states, but here it is really, really good. It's really nice. It's really nice. Papa John's too. Oh yeah, Papa John. Without a doubt, EBN, EMB. He's absolutely correct. We actually went to Papa John's before we went to Domino's. Yeah. For the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. The next one. Family, friends, and networking. All right. This is important. You want to be part of the elite? Dude, like I always say, y'all got to stop dealing with them beautiful bottom feeders. But I love them. I know. But you got to get somebody else in your cell phone other than somebody that's on the, on the, the lowest percentage of individuals in that country if you don't have anybody in your cell phone in that country and you've been going there for four or five six years and nobody in your phone has anything to lose meaning that they don't have a car a truck a job a business nothing 
nothing. You just got all broke women in your phone. You're doing yourself a disservice. It's time for you to get a new network family. And I don't mean necessarily a family that you get married and they become family because our friend Jason, he's been going to Medellin for, for since 2003. And he has people that he's considered like family when he goes there because he's gone there so often they know him. Do you have somebody in whatever country you're going to that looks forward to seeing you come? That's what I mean by that. It doesn't have to be a group of people. Do you have at least one person in that country that looks forward to seeing you come? Lastly, networking. Some I remember one brother a couple of weeks ago, he was here and he's a, a guy that's a mechanic. And now he's been networking with other mechanics down here. He's like, Andre, I'm not networking because I need the money per se. He said, I just love being a mechanic and, and, and working on cars. He said, so when I come down, it's not, he said, I know I'm not looking to make money. He said, because I got that, I just want to work on cars. And so now he's networking with mechanics in the city. So when he comes down, he can do what he does best. Networking, that's very important. If you go into these other countries, and you ain't connected to nothing, like nothing, you, you're an average passport holder. You are not part of the elite. You deserve to be part of the elite. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're second, I'm trying to read it here. Uh... And you can always put it up there. Oh, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Going very well, taking all the bottom feeders. Yes. They're beautiful, but they're bottom feeders. Uh, and the easiest way to find more authentic pizza and the no tomato saucy butter covered with cheese pies they got in the pueblos or towns. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, this, um, okay, the same. Uh, I didn't uh, detect any real difference. Now, McDonald's in Germany, that was different. Uh, he will, the code is different. Help, the code is different. Yeah, wow. and every, every part of the world, the That's things a, yeah, yeah, the candies, the, the chips, the, the major meals, you know, your major meals, the recipes. That's that's probably one thing I'm looking forward to in in London, mm -hmm. the different recipes and, and foods, things like that. But another thing in London, we need to be careful while we're eating because they love to eat like American. Oh yeah, that's right. A breakfast in London, American bread, American no, the British breakfast got like a bandeja paisa, sausages, bacon, beans, oh, no. eggs, all of that. So we need to be. Oh. That's one of the things when we travel, we we trying to be and eat healthy, even we when we go out because even though you know in a stomach situation or something but yeah like every city every time we go out to a place we usually pick maybe one or two nights to go to like a top four or five star restaurant that's really just up there but for the most part we really just try to focus and just eat what we want but for the most part we usually try to eat healthy throughout the time period even while we are away mm -hmm. What is the best place to find a good woman and not bottom feeders? <laughs> uh, in the malls, uh, groceries, great dudes. I'm telling y'all the secret. I'm telling you the secret. Walk up to a woman and ask for help. I don't care if it's direction. Directions are always good. Ask her for directions to the museum. Ask her for directions to the bus station. Let her know I'm not from here. I'm, you know, I'm really just getting here. Would you happen to know? Blah blah blah. If you're in a grocery store and you're, if you need some help with something, pull, just grab two cans or something, and ask her. You know, I'm not from here. With your, with your broken, beat up Spanish, which one? Aquí o aquí, and she'll tell you that this, whichever one. And then all of a sudden, you're like, what's your name? and you give her your name and the next thing you know you guys are conversing i'm telling you the the tourist in distress it always works because especially since colombians are so nice they're going to help you and answer your questions that's the that's the gate uh that opens up the door for a lot of conversations i know one guy 
I, I told the story the other day. He he asked his uh girl who he's been with for a year how he met her was he stopped her and asked her where the bus station was, even though he was standing in front of the bus station. <laughs> and he knew it. <laughs> but he wanted to get her attention. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, they're having a here a little conversation here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're gonna uh with the last two. Okay, let's go through them quickly. Real estate and investments. All right. When you get to a point when you are relocated to another location and you have officially become a part of that community, you want to start focusing on real estate and investments. Now, investments don't necessarily have to be real estate. Yes, Colombia has a stock market. Colombia has crypto. Also, other countries have stock markets that you can invest in. So begin to start thinking beyond the New York Stock Exchange or the Chicago Stock Exchange and realize you can also invest in stocks, mutual funds, and other investments and get a bang for your buck really you really can in other countries so don't just feel like you need to do it in the united states and also that goes for real estate when you know that they're building condos in cartagena you can get one one bedroom i mean two bedroom one or two baths and you can get it for under 35 or 40 or fifty thousand dollars dude start stacking get that fifty thousand together and get that condo because in a couple years, that same condo in Cartagena in that new building is going to be gone. Because I'm going to tell you this, when Colombians buy property, and Andre can attest to this, they don't sell that easy. And I'm going to tell you what I mean. When Colombians buy property, they're going to keep it for their kids, their kids, kids, their kids, kids, kids. Their kids. They don't just like in the States, we buy a piece of property and then after we call it a starter house. Then after a few years, we sell it and then get another house. And then we start making more money, get another house. They don't do that here in Colombia. They don't keep all those houses to start a house and even the, the latest house they got. So when I say all these nice prices that you're seeing and these Colombian prices, they're going to be gone because Colombians will scoop up that property. Yeah. They keep it. We'll say. <laughs> Ale, Alexis, thank you so much for your donation. And he say, uh, uh, Andre and Andrea, I was wondering how much will a nice, a nice con, con, condo, condo. Mm -hmm. we cost, uh, we cost in the nice part of uh, in that area there, how much it would cost in American? Now, it depends on what location you're in. Like, for example, if you are in, and shout out again, uh, Alexis, for the, for the, uh, for the cash app i mean the super chat when it comes to colombia and many of you can that's been down here before can attest to the fact that it depends on where you are for example a condo and a, a nice condo in el Plobato, medellin in other words the community in medellin is 40 percent more for that same condo if it was in cali but do realize medellin has it's the city of eternal spring Cali is a little bit more warmer, just a little bit uh, warmer climate. Medellin is the famous and it has all the tourists. Cali, we don't have all those tours. So you may want to think about what location you're going to. But if you know that for me, saving 40% on the cost of a condo, in other words, that condo can be 70,000 in uh, Medellin in that same condo, two bedroom, two bathroom, nice size, looking beautiful nice view is only like what 40 55 here in uh in uh, uh 55 here in cali 40 percent less so it's those little things that you may want to think about so it is when you buy a condo in uh cartagena compared to bogota bogota is the big city the capital the the, the 20th largest city in the world so you want to take those things into consideration mm -hmm. Dwight, thank you so much for your donation. He say, love your uh, com commentary. Mm -hmm. Every man needs a brother like you to tell you what is what is in whole in whole, no punches. Yeah, yeah, I try not to because uh, the, what what Andrew and I try to do is 
we try to give you the information that I wish somebody told me when I first started travel. So that's what we try to do. That's why we talk about the Patreon a lot. That's why we talk about the consultations. That's why we, even on here, we try to give as much information as possible because I will wish somebody will answer my questions. And I love the fact that I have, I know that I have a Colombian wife that speaks English. So you guys can ask her all those questions about the Colombian ladies and things like that while we're on the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for the nation. He, he says uh, showing support and addressing like he's going about to, he's going about to work on a Wall Street. Yeah, I got to record for the other channel. So, but at the, at the end of the day, and also the reason why I, we we dress is because we respect you as 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 our as our uh, friends and as our audience. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was I remember I told you guys I was a college recruiter and I remember my my boss on one Saturday that came in with jeans and she said these families Andre are paying a hundred thousand dollars for education here and you are wearing jeans she said you've got an hour to go home come back put on the suit and show respect to the people that are going to come to your open house this Saturday mm -hmm. and I understood that. I say, you know what? These people are spending a hundred thousand to get an education for their young person. Same respect I give to you guys, and that's why many times you'll see me with a suit on because I res I have respect for you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got Shout another to one. Uh, what is Strato is Chipichape Mall. Uh, that area is a Strata Six. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh wait a minute okay i got a question is strata six then how are we strata five because it's different it's different neighborhood we're what? just down the street uh doesn't matter we're not even we okay okay, okay i can see it i mean we, we we live in a nice area but i, I didn't know chippy choppy was because it's only the reason why i say that chippy choppy for us is like a five minute walk if that it's like it's right down the street and so to sit back and see that area as zone six but then us being, <laughs> being a few blocks away we zone five <laughs> we got here a strata here four and then the neighborhood that i i, I show you uh -huh. is a strata two and they just one one uh how do you say one is three away here is strata That's four here is strata is. two chicago is chicago yeah. you can have a hood then you can have right around the corner mansions Okay, we got here, John. Thank you so much for the donation. He said, "When uh, have the debate between you and Jay Ray?" Oh, J not uh, Jarrell. Oh, the, the young YouTuber who who got stuck in DR. Mm. Uh, that'll never happen. And I'll tell you why, guys. <laughs> and, and I mean this in all sincerity. Mm. Small YouTubers you usually see under five thousand subscribers usually are the most controversial and the troublemakers. If you ever look at the most from the most problematic YouTubers out there, they're usually new channels. The reason why they do that, they're trying to be, they're trying to go the lazy man's route of building on the brand of larger channels. So they'll criticize like they did Kevin Samuels to build off Kevin Samuels. They'll criticize a uh, 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 one content creator or another content creator to build off the brand instead of doing what we all did the years of hard work, mm -hmm. all the late nights not getting any sleep, like Richie Mack does when he gets off the live stream. He's up all afternoon, all evening, making those videos. Ace Lives traveling, Marwa, a check in effect. All of us put in hours of work to do this, Philly Dom. But then you have these new YouTubers that try to just say, well, let me do the easy route and let me criticize the, a bigger channel. And then when a bigger channel responds, I'll get some of their subscribers. So when it comes to the young dudes, if you see me respond to a video, that's one thing to respond to a video like I did with the dude when he got stuck in DR for a hundred dollars. That's responding to a video. But to sit back and have a point counterpoint discussion, me and that young man will never be on the same paddle ever. He hasn't earned the right to be on the same panel. And I'm not saying it in a, in a snide or arrogant way. I'm saying that when you see me on a certain channel, that's because that channel is putting in the work. Mm -hmm. Chantel Simone, she's putting in the work. 
uh, Crimson Cure put in the work. Uh, uh, Danica Marie, they put in the work. These women have put in the work. Uh, Culture Condition, they put in the work. When the camera's off, we still working. But these new under under 5,000 subscriber YouTubers that criticize all other YouTubers that are put in the work, we are not going to waste our time with those people. Mm -hmm. You will never, ever. That's an, ins that, that's an insult to you guys for me to actually go on the panel and actually go back and forth with this young man because he got stuck in DR. Mm -hmm. And then he gets to blow his brand up off, off of all the hard work that we all put in. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we're gonna respond. We're going to the last one. Respond the last one's question, and we're done with this live stream. He said that one random guy. He said, "If I want to get my motor license here in Colombia, what uh, do I need to do? First of all, got your ID. That's one of the first yes, things. Yes, you're gonna have to get your have. visa, then your your, your, your ID. ID, and then you're going to a driving school because here in Colombia you need to take a course. Everybody." everyone like even though they if you knew or, or, or know how to ride a bike or drive a car you need to take the course and have several hours and then take exams is a month and a half that you spend in a driving school to have your uh bike license so that is in it that in colombia is like that it, it is what it is it's mm -hmm. not apply like i'm i'm from the states and no no no, it's not applied. If you're living in Colombia, yeah, you got to take a course, pay for that course and pay for everything, your exams and everything. And obviously, uh, you get your driver license. And for those of you guys that have driver's license in another country and you rent a car here in Colombia, your driver's license is only good for your first 90 days. Take it from your boy who got a ticket. My first ticket was using my driver's license beyond 90 days mm -hmm. so when i tell you i know what i'm talking about i know what i'm talking about okay i like to say um when you buy a property do you get uh an extend extent extension visa because you visa. purchase it depends on the, it depends on the price of the property property has to be like over mm -hmm. 80 something thousand you better off just getting a a a, 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 a digital nomad visa and, and buying property than sit back w waiting for the uh the business or property ownership visa, which is you have to buy a piece of property that's worth eighty thousand dollars, then you'll get a visa. You, this is a nomad visa or the or the retirement visa is way easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, then last one, you guys, volunteer and donate. Yes, if you want this, is the last one. If you want to be among the elite of passport old uh, holders, you gotta either volunteer in that country or at least donate. You, you guys have been watching me, Ace, other YouTubers, TaylorMade Dreams, guys that are in WhatsApp groups, donate thousands upon thousands of dollars and manpower in these communities. Why? Because we did donating at a home and we volunteered at home. In order to be a part of the community that you plan on moving to, start finding out how you can donate some money. Like remember how we just did the cancer uh, for December, we just mm -hmm. did the, the cancer uh, Children's Cancer Foundation here mm -hmm. in Cali. Start finding out how you can donate and give time. Little things like that when you get off that plane allows you to be among the elite of passport holders. Some of you, some guys are average when it comes to their passport, but you guys, you are the elite among passport holders, mm -hmm. and that's the difference. Okay, we'll say it yeah okay you guys i think this live stream is done we'll let you finish off the last comments and we'll be done yeah i mean they uh yeah dress for the precision job uh title that you want the precision mm -hmm. position the title that you have correct yeah that's so true you guys okay we'll see shout that. out to alexis again yeah thank you a lot you guys for your comments questions um and you support your time and thank you for the five. We, we haven't looked yet, but thank you for the five individuals that actually joined our Patreon. Yeah. Thank you. I like you guys always supporting. Let's say. Mm -hmm. we got one. No. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I think we do this, all the shout out. Yeah. Thank you. I like you guys. Thank you so, so much for always supporting. We'll see you in the next live stream. We're out of here. Yeah. We are here. 
Having a blessing, blessing week, everybody. My, my name, name is, is Andre. My name is Sandra. And we are Love Crossing Borders. Love Crossing Borders. All right. I should have let you go first that time. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs>